Hello and welcome to the very first uh, Nicomat video clip. This video clip will show you how to use Joomla Pag and the Kickstart script to backup and restore a Joomla site. So the first we will do is just install a Joomla on a local host so you can see that we're not cheating anywhere. We'll put in the server names which is localhost, we'll put the username, we are using an XAMPP server for this testing purposes type in some example information and install the sample data. So you can see everything is working fine. We just have to delete the install folders as it is needed in every Joomla installation. So we delete the folder, yes, and go to the website and can see there is everything installed. This is a just normal example data filled Joomla. So we go to the back end localhost administrator and install Joomla Pack via extensions install and select Joomla Pack 231 plus which is currently the newest we have right now which can be changed later on of course. So we go to the components Joomla Pack so this is the normal backend of Joomla Pack Plus. We will just change for testing purposes to the easy mode. So now we'll press the button backup now and the backup process is starting with default parameters. This can take a while depending on your size of your website and um, your size of your database. First step is saving the database information and second step is saving all the files from your Joomla. So after this quick backup, we just press the Manage Backup button. And you can see this backup is done, status is OK, you can check it from the checkbox and download the file to your uh, local computer, please download it to a safe directory and delete it from your server. So while we have downloaded everything to our local computer, we will just destroy and delete every data on the server. which is now currently in our XAMPP server. So if, you, if we press reload, you can see nothing has left. The index is empty. So our local host is completely broken, damaged or destroyed as you like it. Now we will copy two files to the new server. The first file is your backup file made by Joomla Pack, which is a JPA or a zip file. The second file we copy to the server is the kickstart script, which is kickstart PHP. So we have only to transfer two files which is the JPA or zip file with our backup and the kickstart script. Now we will um, trigger the kickstart and call in the browser localhost kickstart PHP. Now you will see this. This is kickstart script currently version 2.3, which will just show us the first zip or JPA file, which is found by kickstart script. Currently we have only one, so it will just show us the first JPA file we have there. We normally have just to press start but we can choose even do we want to have the Ajax mode without reload or the JavaScript reloading pages, which is currently better for slower servers. You can choose it. Even if you have a safe mode problem, you can use FTP layers and put in some FTP username and passwords. If you have uh, put anything in, you can press the start button and kickstart will start to extract everything from the JPA file to your web server. After the restore procedure, you shouldn't close this kickstart script window. Please hold on and press the click here, the first click here you can see. So this will bring you to the Joomla Pack installer, currently version 4, where you can see the current settings are everything fine. Press the next button. Just please type in localhost or server names for your database and put in all the database information which are necessary, like hostname, username, password and database name. Uh, in our example we can leave everything as is. Press the next button and see the restore of 167 kilobytes is uh, gone in a second.
So next step is FTP information. We don't need any for this uh, example. Press next. And this configuration via Joomla Packet Installer has finished right now. So you can close this window. Please press the other here now. This is very important because it will delete the backup file, it will delete the backup script and activate the htxs file. If you have used one, it will activate this again. So don't forget to press click here, the second one. So just for controlling purpose, we just recall our website at localhost and you can see everything is fine again. We restored a now a website with Joomla Pack 2.33 and Kickstart Script 2.3 very easily.